Hello. In this video, we will see how to import data from a PDF file. If you try to copy data from PDF and then paste it in Excel, this is what happened. The formatting goes for a toss and you waste too much time cleaning it up, which is inefficient. If you had the full version of Adobe Acrobat DC, then it is possible to copy with formatting. But everyone doesn't have that version. Fortunately, now we have a solution. With Office Pro Plus version of Excel as well as Power BI, we can now import from PDF directly. Go to Home tab, Get Data. This comes under the File category, PDF. You have to specify the path of the PDF file. Now, before we open this, let's understand what is there in that PDF file. So I have a seven page PDF. The first page has two small tables. One of the tables has merged cells. The second page has a long table, which cuts across pages, but it has a header. And that header, this is page two. This is page three. The header is repeating. Page four also has a header. So it's a long table going across three pages. On page 5, 6 and 7, we have exactly the same table. The only difference is the header is not repeating. Now let's try to import data. Choose the PDF file. It detects pages as well as tables separately. So on top it shows you tables. At the bottom you see pages. I don't see any practical use of pages because, because pages data is going to get mixed up. And if there is a table which cuts across pages, this is not very useful. Now let's look at the tables. It's very smart. It picked up the table correctly. Second table also it picked up correctly, but it doesn't tolerate merge cells. So it unmerged them. Didn't know what to call them. So gave a name, column two, column four. The names of columns have to be unique. So it gave this merge cell two. Now notice this is interesting. We had a table which cuts across three pages. It has actually combined it into a single one. And it's telling me it's a single table with three pages incorporated, which is brilliant. So if your data was like this, all that you do is select and you don't even need any transformation if the data is clean. Otherwise, you click on transform data, do whatever cleanup and import. Very easy. It will save you hours and hours of manual work. Now, if you had this kind of situation, the first table and the second table and the third table are three separate tables. They have nothing to do with each other as far as Power BI import is concerned. So here, if you wanted all of them, just by selecting all three and clicking load, it's not going to work because it's going to make it as three different tables. We want it to be combined, so you'll need to do some jugglery in the transform data option. It requires you to understand Power Query a little more in detail to combine them properly. So I'm going to make a separate video for this. For now, the good news is there is import possible from PDF. The transform data part is not specific to PDF. If you wanted to combine these three tables, it is similar to combining sheets in Excel or getting three CSV files and combining them. I've already created a video for that. So the transform part is not the exciting one. The ability to understand a PDF file, parse its tables and give the data to you on platter is the amazing feature. So I'm sure you will find this useful and you will have people around you at home within friends in the company who are struggling with this. So please, Tell them this and improve their life as well. Subscribing and clicking on the bell icon. I know you know, so I'm not going to talk about it. It's a no brainer. So that's all for now. Thank you. See you soon.